Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is for this gentleman here, a gentleman called FC, who wanted to be able to read out the value of uh, one of the rotating controls. Now I'm going to do it on HTX because that's what a lot of my radios are running now. Welcome to HTX. So let me just show you how I've got it set up. As I move uh, S2, you'll hear the radio call out the value. Minus 100. Minus 75. Put it in the middle position. Zero. And full to the right. 100. And then if I move it again. 60. So it's calling it out automatically. Now this isn't too tricky to do, so let me show you how to do this. We're going to press the model page and we're going to go into, first of all, we're going to go into logical switches. The first logical switch is to detect, which is what that vertical symbol with a delta or a triangle in between, every time I move the control, the S2 control, more than two, it's going to trigger this. So let me just show you what that looks like. If we kind of um, exit out of here. So this logical switch 01 the one we're interested in, it'll go yellow when it's activated. So if I move S2 very slightly, 55. you'll see that what happens is, Logical switch one fires, then a moment after, logical switch two goes off. 38. Now the reason for that, and the reason I've got this second one, that's actually, it's a sticky, created from logical switch zero one, but it has a slight delay of 0 0.4 of a second. The reason for that is that what can happen if you don't add this second one in, is as you move the rotary control, the radio will start talking and then by the time it's finished talking about the value you passed and you get to the value you actually want it to say, it's kind of already gone off. So what it means is that on the top, as I move the switch, you might see logical switch one go off two or three times. And as I finish the move of the rotary control, logical switch zero two will fire. So let me just move it quickly several times. Minus so you can see that. So as I 64. move it, it means that logical switch two only comes on after 0.4 of a second, which is when I've finished moving the control. 19. So what I'm doing then is logical switch two can now be used to play a file. So we go into special functions and we set it up so that logical switch two select it for play value, the value we're after, is the rotary control S2, or they can be whatever you want, and it's going to repeat it one time. That means now that when I'm playing with the radio, then as I move the rotary control, minus 73, one, 75, it's going to just announce it. Hopefully, FC, that helps and explains how to set it up. The two things you need to do in here, first of all, you're going to have to set up two logical switches. I'd recommend doing it this way. Otherwise, you're going to have it uh, chirping away all the time and not reading out the final value that you've moved the control to. And then secondly, have logical switch two, which is the sticky, fire the play value. And that value is going to be the rotary control. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.